What is up, you guys? So, today, we are going to be talking about our thoughts on, more or less, DLC or just extended versions of the games mm -hmm. that you'd buy. Like, for example, you got Street Fighter 4, and then you have Super Street Fighter 4, mm -hmm. and then you have Super Street Fighter Ultra, mm -hmm. and Super Street Fighter Arcade Edition. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, this kind of started, um, we were actually just watching some gameplay of Marvel's Capcom Infinite. Yeah. And you know, like the question if do you think they're gonna release a whole bunch of characters and do like how they did with an Ultimate Marvelous Capcom 3. Um, I think they are just because that's how I feel like fighting games kind of are. Um, or at least there's always an extension to it. It's... I f okay so with fighting games are really weird it's compared to everything else I feel because like, let's say if I were to play Breath of the Wild, I'll use that as an example because, you know, there is DLC available for it. But if I'm going to tell someone, hey, play Breath of the Wild, and they play through the story, they had a good time, I wouldn't really tell them to worry about the DLC because, like, um, like, I hear, like, I hear, like, they are DLC, like, story content that are actually good, but... Now, I don't know how the story content is going to be for Breath of the Wild, but I don't feel like it's truly, truly necessary. Mm -hmm. um, though, with fighting games, it's always weird. But this might be more... I feel like this is more a personal thing, because if I get, like, any kind of... Let's say, going back to Street Fighter Four in particular, Let's say I got the regular version of Street Fighter 4, but there is Ultra Street Fighter 4 that has all the DLC, because Ultra is the very last one. Exactly. I personally would feel like, man, like I'm missing out. There are a whole bunch of these DLC characters, or or it's like, it's kind of different a game. It's a different game, but it's not. Um, with that in particular, I feel, I feel, um, yeah, like they're very, they're very weird compared to all the other games. Yeah. Because you can play Fallout 4 and have a blast. You get the Game of the Year edition, and I have like extra stuff, but I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything too, too much. Mm -hmm. That's personal. I, I don't know how you feel about all that. Or... I mean, like, it's mainly just because, like, you already have Street Fighter 4, right? Long time back, when Street Fighter 4 just came out, they started coming up with all the DLC, all the mm -hmm. things that you can get, and you would have to buy all of that. So essentially, You'd have all these extra characters, you'd have all these extra skins, all these extra costumes and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And then when you get that, you're pretty much spending over, what, maybe like 80 bucks in total? For Way, more. Way yeah, more. Yeah, a lot more. Unfortunately. And then, oh, look at that. Street Fighter Super, Ultra comes oh, out. Super Street Fighter. Super Street Fighter 4 Ultra comes out. They were ridiculous out. with Street Fighter 4 in particular. Because it was Street Fighter, I think there was Super Street Fighter, then there was Super Street Fighter Arcade Edition. Yeah. And then like towards the very end, that was Ultra. I probably I might have missed a couple in between, but yeah, yeah. Like, but I know Ultra is the definitive edition where it comes with everything. Um and it's weird what they did with Street Fighter 5. Yeah, they, well, because they said they're not going to do like a Super Street Fighter or Ultra Street Fighter, but I feel like at this point, they probably should because there are two seasons, which I think each cost like 30 bucks. Um, like I got the game for 20 and then I think season, I had, I was able to get a deal with season one and two through the online network at the time. I mm -hmm. think it was like 30, 40 bucks maybe. I could be totally wrong, but still that's like, I still paid like regular price for Street Fighter 5. You see, and that's what I'm saying, like, you paid all that money for all that DLC, and oh, look at that! Yeah. Super Street Fighter exactly. whatever comes out, and it's only like 40 bucks, mm -hmm. or 50 bucks. Yeah. One thing I do like about like these Game of the Year editions, or like the final edition of a game, is that, um, is that it's all there. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about it, it just be like, alright, I'll get this, boom. Yeah. But then figuring out what that is, it's kind of an, also another kind of like... Yeah, um, so, uh, you know... Like, if you're just at the store and you're just like, Hey, because this actually happened to me a couple of days ago. I'm like, hey, I want to check out Blaze Blue. Because I know they have the Blaze Blue, like, tag team uh, game coming up. Because Ruby's going to be in this. So I want to check that out. Oh, really? Um, eh? <laughs> yeah, but um, but I wanna, I'm like, alright, what was the latest uh, Blaze Blue thing? You know, I saw a couple of different things that are just like, oh, it's this one. But then I look it up, I'm just like, wait, then why does this one cost more? 
Um, and it was just like a whole bunch of crazy. I, I ended up figuring out, uh, but I'm like, if, if this is just a regular person, they're not gonna be like, they're not gonna be like, oh, this. Um, they'll probably buy it, then probably complain and be like, oh, like, what's up with this? Because I have plenty of friends that like hit me up. They're like, hey, I bought this version of a game, but it doesn't have the feature I was looking for. And I'm just like, well, yeah, that's DLC, or you should have bought like the Game of the Year edition for it. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, you know, do you think that companies are just wasting their money making... Because, like, I'm sure they probably caught on by now that most people are starting to catch on to the fact that there's gonna be, like, you know, an extended edition, like a, like a Game of the Year. Or, um, like... I don't think so they particularly are, because when, they're, when a game comes out, that is the hype of it. Yeah. So, once again, with, like, Breath of the Wild, everyone bought it, even though they knew DLC was coming. Mm -hmm. It was also the rush of like seeing everyone kind of talking about it, sort of the water cooler talk of it, and they wanted to be a part of that. Yeah, and that was that is like, I I don't know how much <clears throat> I think it might stagger some excitement for the game. For me, for sure, like with Street Fighter Five, I didn't buy it right away. That was also because I didn't have a PS uh, PS4 at the time. But I'm just like PS5. whatever. Too hip, too hip in the future, I, dude. I know. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I didn't get. I got Street Fighter Five a bit after, you know, I saw the deals, and I'm like, okay, I'll buy it. Um, I'm tempted, like, I I remember I love Metal Gear Solid Five, and I'm very tempted to get the Game of the Year edition, though I don't know what it might have. J uh, just get a Steam version of it, because, you know, because why not? Um, yeah. I feel one benefit, or another benefit, kind of, is that um, I feel like the game of the year editions are a bit of a last hoorah for companies to like hey this is buy this at full retail price sixty dollars and you get everything you want and i feel like a month or two like even less than what it takes the regular version to price to go down that the game of the year price goes down very quickly yeah that that is strange because you'd expect the definitive version of a game to be like a lot more and yeah. just go down less because it has more it's more I, value and um this is just like my my theory, but I feel like it's a thing that the game came out late. Um, let's say you see the game like a GameStop for like twenty bucks, and then you see the definitive version for sixty bucks. It's just like I'm not gonna spend an extra forty, but like that's why I feel they they drop rather soon. Mm. And once again, I feel like most of the people that do buy the games is at the very beginning of like even when that gets released. Yeah, usually. Uh, you know, it does have its benefits and like kind of its like silliness to it. Um, yeah. Okay. Right yeah. So with that, you guys, peace. Peace.